shit. <sighs> Good afternoon, officer. Tell me something. Where the hell did you learn to drive like that? The International School of Assholes? You know, I think I may have gotten my learner's permit there. <laughs> Funny guy, huh? I have my moments. Step out, hands on the hood. Fancy. Yeah. You should see my other one. Anything in the vehicle I should know about? Guns, knives, bombs, drugs. You know, I was just uh, taking my friend back to her hotel. I, I only live a couple Relax, miles away. Relax, big time. I know who the hell you are. Is this really necessary, officer? Ma'am, this doesn't concern you. Oh, hello, Cassandra Carter, reporting live from Naples. What are you doing here? And why are you driving around with this dream killer piece of shit scumbag? What can I say? Slim pickings in these parts. Let me guess, Dallas fan? Philly, actually. Mm. You mind? Sure, if it'll get my scumbag friend out of a ticket. <laughs> Forget him, honey. Is this really happening? You're a real man like me. I tell you, if I wasn't already spoken for, which I am, sorry about that. I plant a kilo on that prissy prick right now and take you all for myself. <laughs> Put that on my LinkedIn page, profile page. Can get you uh, something autographed here, officer? Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Yeah, it might help the cause here a little bit. Oh. You can have something back there, right, Cassie? Yep, here we go. Thank you. I can uh, get this out to Barney <laughs> Free to go. And you too, big time. Don't let me catch you driving around here like that again. Next time, I won't be so nice. Thanks, officer. dress and expect me not to look. Oh, you know that, right? It's not even fair. It's not oh, even fair. <laughs> ah. Oh, God, I'm telling you, that thing should be illegal. You know, you're lucky my father likes you. <laughs> Coach is like a father to me. I would have never gone out with you if it wasn't for him. You know, Sean likes to take credit for hooking us up. Hooking us up? What do you think I am, one of your nightclub bimbos? I haven't hung out with them in months. You and Charlie did some wild stuff during your party days, didn't you? Yeah, those were some crazy days. Hmm. What do you say I come up for a little afternoon delight? Oh, not today, honey. Network has me at a 5 a.m. to New York. Oh, I wasn't suggesting anything unholy. Help you pack. Yeah, such a gentleman. Unfortunately, I have a pile of research to plow through. Mm. When I get back from New York, can you wait 10 days for me, baby? Anything for you, angel face. Christ. I can't take you anywhere without your friends showing up. <laughs> but they're harmless. I'll text you when I get to New York. Wait 10 days. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Can you please tell me your name and your relationship to Miss Carter, please? Just uh, for the caption. Sure. Dr. Howie Felter-Snatch, Miss Carter's personal gynecologist. Hey, asshole. That's Bobby Big Time Davis. 
the most clutch kicker in league history. Got four rings and counting. I just didn't recognize him without his helmet. Shit. Can you imagine the stories that dick could tell? Thanks, Lola. I'll take it here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Sean, good buddy. What's happening? Okay. What's the strike price? How many shares are we talking? That sounds expensive. I'll tell you what, man. I'll, uh, I'll give it some serious thought this weekend. And then I'll get back to you, I promise. No, no, I just... Uh, I don't wanna... I don't wanna rush into it. Alright, buddy, you know what? You can talk me into it, just... Go ahead and pull the trigger. You don't need the details. I gotta, I gotta go. Thanks, Lola. You can go ahead and pack it in for the day. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Are you sure, Mr. Davis? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm sure. All right, well, thanks. Thank Have a lovely night. You too. Bobby, Coach Carter is here to see you, and he refuses to wait downstairs despite my best efforts. Bobby, big time! Kick your ass up! We get shit to discuss. Whoa. Okay, uh, thank you, Lola. I'll take it from here. Thanks. Would you like me to sit in and take notes? Uh, no, no, no. Um, maybe just uh, a cup of coffee for me and the coach? That would be great. Already brewed. I'll bring it right up. Thanks. <laughs> coach? What, you got Cassandra on the brain? <sighs> Coach, you know I have the utmost respect for your daughter. Mm -hmm. Relax, big time, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> Actually, she seems much happier lately. Happier than she's been in a good long time now. Yeah, that whole uh, spy cam video thing was brutal. The whole world seeing her in all her glory. Can't believe that was two years ago. Yeah, I know, son, I know. I appreciate you looking out for her, being such a gentleman. Yeah. Which uh, brings me to the reason for my visit. I got some bad news. The league finally moved the extra point back to the 50-yard line. You failed the league PED test. Extremely elevated levels of testosterone. Fucking Kurt, that shit bad. <laughs> Hey, shit digger. Are you sure you're not giving me too much of those steroids? Now, why would you say something like that? I'm feeling a little emotional. Hey, Bobby, big time. I trust Kurt with my life. He's like a shady, illegal activity version of you. Yeah, right back at you. I wouldn't mess up the coach, Ed, Sean. <sighs> Bend over and let me stick this needle in your ass. Man, I hate this shit. Oh. Moon is blinding me. You don't got a hair on your ass. Oh. Mommy! Oh. I really hate that fucking guy. If you let me worry about fucking Kurt, you got bigger fish to fry. The owners are giving you two choices.
retire now, a hero, and they're willing to uh, keep the test confidential. Yeah, that's not fucking happening. Or option two, minimum one year suspension, giant media shitstorm, and your legacy permanently shattered. Okay, how about this? Fuck option one and fuck option two. I'll just fight it. These tests are notoriously inaccurate. Well, look, if you want to fight it, I'll back you up 100%, but uh, you need to get a back things off with Cass, just for the time being. I mean, uh, you don't want to drag her name through all this shit. Coach, I, I can't do that. <sighs> Look, let me regroup with my guys, and uh, we'll figure something out, and I'll get back to you. Fine. You make it fast. They're giving you a week to decide. Then they're going to make the decision for you. Bobby, Charlie is here for your morning workout. Of course, oh, Coach. Hey, Charlie. Bobby. What's up, man? Just on my way out. You boys have a good workout, all right? All right, Coach. Oh, no, please. After you. My wife used to have an ass like that. I hear you, Coach. Good to see you. Bro, it's weird. What do you got the coach here in your bedroom at the crack of dawn? Uh, he just stopped by to let me know how fucked I am. We gotta get hold of Sean. So that's weird, too. Because I just got a call, and Sean's on his way over here right now with Lenny the lawyer. Said something real important to tell you. Something about you being totally fucked. Perfect. Play it on me. Can't be any worse than the news I already got. Well, they're both seven months pregnant, and their greedy gold digging hack of a lawyer really means business. No offense, Lenny. I'm taken. Your attorney wants appointment this afternoon. Well, she's, she's gonna go public. Seven months, huh? Must have been that bender we went on after the championship game. <laughs> That's I remember, fun. I remember that. Look, just bring them here and have the meeting. And pay them to go away. Far, far away. And pay them a little bit more. Yeah. Keep them quiet about it. Real fucking quiet. <sighs> Fine, set up the meeting. I need to go work out. Let's get out of here, Charlie. Go. What was that other thing you wanted to discuss? Just uh, deal with one fiasco per day. Talk to you guys later. Later. Let's get the pump on. Bam. Pump it up. You up for lunch? No, I don't think I'm going to stick with the liquid diet today. All right. Cheers, bro. What do you think that other thing is? Miss Roth, I presume? That's correct. These are my clients, Miss Pixie Barlow and Miss Roxanne Cooper. Is Mr. Davis ready for us? He sure is. Right this way, please. Ladies. Please don't be yourself, okay? Uh, Lenny Roberts, Esquire. I represent Mr. Davis. Ladies. Please, please, please sit down. Of course, petition the court. 
for a thorough audit of Mr. Davis's assets and holdings to compile future earning projections. Okay, here's the deal. I'm going to give them each 100 grand a year for 20 years. Plus attorney fees. Contingent on a paternity test. And a strict non-disclosure agreement. With all due respect. Go fuck yourselves. Ladies, let's no, go. No, 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 no. Miss Roth. Ladies, please. We all want the same thing here, to ensure that these two strong, beautiful women are very well taken care of as they enter this blessed new phase What's of What's it going to take to achieve this? 400,000 a year each. 200,000 a year. 300,000. Okay. All right. 300 it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, buddy. What Mr. Davis meant to say was 300,000 a year each. Yeah? Great. So I'll just have my guys drop the paperwork and all that fun stuff. Very well, Mr. Davis. We'll be back with the paternity tests. Ladies, it was, uh... Yeah. Are you absolutely sure about this, my man? Unless you can think of a better way of getting me out of this. My advice? Take it to arbitration. Get the suspension knocked in half. At least, maybe more if they messed up the test results in any way. What does that do for my legacy? My Hall of Fame chances? I'm not a career user. I did that shit one time when I was injured. Not one of these juiced up freakoids. No offense, Charlie. None taken, bro. Come on. Look, I had a great run, guys. I made a lot of money. I need to cash in my stack before I get dealt that one shitty hand. Dying in your boots? That shit's for cowboys, not kickers. You're the boss. I'm just trying to support you no matter what, bro. All right. Hey, thanks, fellas. Get in there. All right. Do it. Come on. Wow. Not a bad turnout for the off season. Thank you all for coming. And on that note, I'm announcing my retirement. Right here, right now. What are you going to do now? Now? The only thing on my mind is finding myself a good, God-fearing woman. Maybe punch out four or five little rugrats. See a uh, American dream and whatnot. Yes, you in the back. Cassandra Carter, Sports and Entertainment News. Any parting words for the fans, particularly those who really, truly loved you or those who really, truly hated you? Um, I'm sorry. And you're welcome. Look, I love the fans, whether they're with me or not. They're all great. Well, that's about it. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys. It's been one hell of a journey. never really had a chance to stop and reflect on the journey. I started out with nothing. And now I have this huge 10 bedroom mansion all by myself. Oh, that must be so hard. It's not what I mean. I just like to fill up a few of those rooms. Maybe all of them. Sandra Carter, will you marry me? Will you become Mrs. Bobby big time? Oh, Bobby, I don't know what to say. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions before I give you my answer? Um, sure, shoot. First question, do you promise to love, obey, and respect me until death do us part? I do. Do you promise to do the dishes, make the bed, and clean the house? You realize I have like four maids, but I'll tell you what, I'll promise to make the bed if you promise to help me mess it up. Last question. How would you feel about taking my last name? Mr. Cassandra Big Time Carter. It has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Absolutely not. But you're more than welcome to call me that behind closed doors if you'd like. I don't know. Unfortunately, babe, that's, that's a deal breaker for me. I'm just messing with you, Mr. Big Time Hunk. Big husband, of course I'll marry you. Mm -hmm.
Good morning, babe. Good morning. Coffee. Mm -hmm. so sweet of you. <sighs> well, you two were up early, considering the circumstances. What circumstances? Your big engagement. How did you know about that? Didn't see it. It's all over the news. Oh, my gosh. Didn't gosh. see that. Go, 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 go. Dude, you're not even dressed yet? Mr. O'Grady, top of the morning to you. Good to see you, bro. You too, man. And what is that? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Victoria has her secrets, and I have mine. OK. <laughs> Where's he going? Over here? What's this? Oh, someone uh, at the restaurant took a video of the engagement. Look at that. Three million hits, and it's not even 10 a.m. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty good. Hey, you, know, you know what? We should cash in on this. What do you guys feel about a reality show wedding? I know this producer, Vince, he can get us a boatload for the rights. Okay, well, as romantic and classy as that sounds, and it really does, I think I'm gonna pass. What do you think, hon? Actually, I gotta go. The network wants me on air ASAP. I'm sure to capitalize on all the buzz, right? Yep. <clears throat> I'm taking one of your cars. That's <sighs> good. Okay. Are we good to go for today? Everything yeah. set? Game face on. We gotta go. And don't forget your checkbook. All right. Oh, this is gonna suck. Sorry. So, as you can see, gentlemen, these paternity tests prove conclusively that Mr. Davis is, in fact, the biological father of both my client's unborn children. If your clients violate this non-disclosure agreement in any way, they'll be subject to severe punitive damages. Well, ladies, with that said, I think our business here is finished. Likewise. If your client fails to make his scheduled payments in a timely and convenient manner, he'll have all hell to pay. Mark my words. Round check, Bobby. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, wow. Shark, wow. It's not exactly encouraging coming from my lawyer. <sighs> you're gonna be sick. You gotta relax, man. When was the last time you got laid? So everything will be fine. Shit, I gotta get to work. Okay. Hey, thanks again, Lenny. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you again. You need to relax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. <laughs> Poor guy. Ah, <sighs> and you, Mr. O'Grady. Yes. Thank you for saving my ass once again. Come on, you're my client and my friend. I'd do anything for you, buddy. Just remember who set you up with Cassandra in the first place. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. You're lucky she was my client. Speaking of Cassandra, I got mm. something I want to ask you. What's that? How would you like to be my best man? Hell yeah, Bobby. Yeah. I'd be honored. <laughs> yeah, right. Wow. Awesome. Be great to have you by my side for the big day. Yeah. Hey, um, what do you say uh, we get out of here? Grab some lunch, celebrate a little on me. Uh, no, not today. Um, I've got some other pressing business to attend to. Uh, how about if we celebrate big time this weekend? Good? Okay. Hey, thanks again, Sean. Whitney Roth. Whitney. What can I do for you? I don't know what kind of scam you guys are trying to pull, but let me tell you. This is the beginning of the end for Bobby Big Time. Jesus, Whitney, what the hell are you talking about? Your settlement checks for Roxanne and Pixie? What about them? They bounced, my dear. All right, well, I'm sure it's something silly. Let me just give Sean a call and I'll get it to right away. Good luck with that. I've been trying to reach him all morning. I assure you, everything is fine. Can you, Bobby? Can you? Really?
call Sean O'Grady. Text Charlie. Get your ass over here now. Bobby! Hey, Mom's here for the wedding planning meeting. Don't tell me you forgot. Oh, God, no, I would never forget. Mwah. I've been looking forward to it all week. Your sister Annie stopped by. She said she has some important visits to Oh, with no, no, no. Tell her I'm swamped with wedding planning and I got abducted by I aliens. I actually invited her to work with us on it. She has a lot of great ideas and I thought it would be great for family bonding. No, 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 no. And no. she's really hitting it off with Mom. Oh, God, no, Where no. in the world have you been hiding this woman? Okay, do not listen to a word that woman says. Nothing. Hmm. Ladies, mm. picture it. Mountains. Oh, Sunset, oh, yes. orchestra, yes. music, oh, God, that's think, destination weapons, ethnic food, love it, romance, lemongrass, where, Thailand, yes. Thailand, massage, Massages. bamboo. Hello, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Lily, oh. as always. Oh, mm, pleasure to see oh. you. Oh, likewise, Bobby. Your sister here is a real hoot, and she's full of big ideas. Oh, mm. <laughs> she's uh, definitely something else. It's hard to believe we're related sometimes. Mm. Back, sis, can I get a quick word with you? Oh, sure. Yeah, Let just... me just grab my bag. Thank you, okay. honey. Oh, my God. Look at this. She has... Hello, brother. Hello. And we get it. That's the destination. Thailand. We can put 500 people. That's intimate. I don't know how to put 500 people. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell is wrong with you? You're acting like a roided out lesbian. Hey, Annie, I don't have time for this shit. Really? This is how you're gonna treat your own sister? Your own flesh and blood who actually comes bearing a gift of great financial importance. That's gonna make us a lot of money. Fine. What is it? Make it quick. I'm so glad you asked. Okay. Bobby Davis, retirement memorabilia. Are you fucking kidding me? This is your big idea? So a million people can wipe their ass with my face? Yeah. And then they can get fucked by oh you. Oh my god, Annie. Uh. Listen, all I need is some initial seed money for manufacturing and distribution. How much? 150. Fine. Done. Yeah? Yep. Really? Yep. 150,000. 150,000? You said 100. Do you know how expensive this wedding is? Do you know how big this is gonna be? Huge! Don't be a jackass. What's in it for me? You get your money back within 90 days and then 50 50 split of the profits. Fine. I'm in. Keep all this expensive wedding talk to yourself. How's it going, guys? Hi! Hi! The wedding planner's here, and she has pictures of the best venues, floor arrangements, cakes. Ooh, cake! Cake's exciting. Yeah. Betty Crocker. Come on. Come on. Ooh, go. Something borrowed, something blow me, bitch. Go home. Go wedding. Sean, I'm pulling up to your office now. I don't know why you're not answering the fucking phone, but meet me here. Damn it, I don't know why he's not answering his phone. And where the fuck can he be? This better not be some bachelor party surprise you guys are planning. If it is, nobody told me. I'm a bride in shower, I didn't brush my teeth, I don't even got underwear on. What the heck is this? What the fuck? Looks like the maid didn't show up today, huh? This is not good. This is not good. Oh, shit. It's like they had a party here. Why didn't they invite me? Concern. By the time you read this, I'll already be dead. Bullshit. I deeply apologize to all my clients for my part in this whole affair. 
I've been living a secret life while committing a terrible crime. I truly regret and am profoundly sorry for destroying the lives of so many people that I care about. I was a greedy individual who made a lot of bad choices. I truly thought that I could fix everything, but I got trapped by my own ego and refusal to fail, and now all I've accomplished is hurting the people that I care about the most. It should be no surprise that I do not have the intestinal fortitude nor the desire to survive prison. Rather than look over my shoulder for the rest of my life, I decided to end things on my own terms in the middle of the Gulf of Mexico. Please take care of yourselves, and I hope that God allows me to see you on the other side. Bon voyage, bon voyage world. Sincerely, Sean fucking O'Grady. Bro, it's like the saddest bachelor party ever. This has got to be a prank or something. Yeah, Sean's screwing with us, come on. And if he's not? I don't even know what this letter means, bro. I don't even get it. It could mean another scandal for me. My best friend doing something shady. I mean, who the hell knows what that letter means? First of all, I'm your best friend. You know what I mean. All right, well, what are we going to do about Sean? I don't know. What can we do? As far as I'm concerned, we were never here. And keep this under wraps with Cassandra, at least until we know what's going on. I don't want her to get cold feet about the engagement or anything. Roger that. I'm with you. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Let's go eat. Hey, Bob, really? Yeah, I love it. And do you have cups there? Yeah. I was thinking what we could do, which would be fantastic. Grits and four seasons for the reception. And I like this. And I think if you took this picture and put it right under big time, and we could give it as wedding gift. Would be and we could have them all over the high, honey. Yes! Fruit, fruit, fruit. Can we all eat fruit? I think you want some water. Oh, you? Okay. Maybe get a little bit of wedding. There are two FBI agents here to see you. They want to talk to you. Oh, shit. Get Lenny here right away. And uh, take the girls out on a really long shot. It's great. Like, really long. This whole house is made of people. Yeah, it's worth a lot of money. So my wife's been pulling the train with her. So, <sighs> Mr. Davis, I'm Special Agent Frank Miller, Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is Agent Lee. What can I do for you, boys? Well, Mr. Davis, are you familiar with the term Ponzi scheme or pyramid scheme? I'm a kicker, not a lineman. Yes, I know what a Ponzi scheme is, like uh, Bernie Madoff. Precisely. Well, Mr. Davis, it looks like your old buddy, Sean Patrick O'Grady, has been operating one for the past six years. It's a big one, O'Grady Investments, and it collapsed two days ago. No, no, there's got to be some mistake, or this is a setup. Uh, I've known the guy for years. He's rich as shit. Well, when was the last time you actually saw Mr. O'Grady? Last week. I asked him if he wanted to go to lunch, and he said he couldn't because he had some business to take care of. Holy shit, that sneaky little bastard. So is it true that you and Mr. O'Grady have done business together for years? Well, like I said, we've been friends for a long time, so we've done a lot of things together. Is that so? Well, yeah. We played ball together. I had the golden foot, he had the golden arm. He was damn good, too. He wouldn't want a Heisman if he didn't get hurt against Notre Dame. Hmm. Well, we also understand that he is going to be the best man at your wedding. Yeah, he was one of the candidates for the job. So was Charlie Brazi. It's B-R-A-Z-I. Yeah, I got it. Mr. Davis, let me ask you. Did you help Mr. O'Grady recruit new clients for his firm? Well, it's a word of mouth business. You know, he asked me to introduce him to a few of my athlete friends. So I did. Were you compensated in any way for the business referrals? No, 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 just uh, like a friend favor. I mean, referral fees don't count as compensation, do, do they? Mr. Davis, first of all, congratulations on your engagement. Cassandra Carter, Ooh, really nice work with that. Thanks. Tell me something, how'd you meet Miss Carter? Well, I actually knew her when she was younger. She was the daughter of one of my coaches. And then uh, 
she grew up, I grew up. She became a hotshot sports journalist, and we were set up on a date by Sean fucking O'Grady. Okay, Mr. Davis, I'm just gonna put this out there. Um, I find it difficult to believe that you had no idea that your close friend and longtime business associate was running a massive Ponzi scheme. Oh, guys, I swear, I had no idea. I mean, look, I have 40 million of my own cake tied in with this guy. Yeah, we know how much money you got, but you still withdrew over $4 million in profits in just three years, come on. Okay, the answer's in your question, genius. Profits, interest, it's what most people... Bobby, not another word. I'm Lenny Roberts. Mr. Davis, attorney, the interview is over. Okay, well, thank you for your cooperation. Mr. Davis, you've given us plenty to go on, and we will be in touch shortly. <sighs> I look forward to it. Have a nice day. It's been a pleasure. Fuck, man, these clowns storm in here and start interrogating me like I'm some criminal. And where the fuck have you been? I mean, where the fuck have I been? <sighs> I gotta take a piss. Take your time, I bill by the hour. I know you do, Lenny. Damn it. These knuckleheads probably forgot something. Can you go answer the door? Oh, shit. Get the door, Lenny, get the door. Bobby, oh, big time, hey, get hey, over hey, here hey, right hey, now. Hey, 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 Ladies, look, he's not here. No, cut the shit. I'm ready to wrap my hands around his neck and kick his ass. Is he legal? Oh, hey, 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 listen, Bobby, That's hi. Not That's not his need to... No, no, shh, shh, shh. What is that face? Bobby, uh... No, oh, no, 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 You can not hide, Bobby, um, big time. Not from me. Uh, hi, ladies. See, here's the thing. Uh, I'm really sorry. Just having a little bit of a, a financial hiccup right now. Oh. But I'm going to get it all worked out. So I'm going to give you all your money in Good. full, plus interest. I'm just going to need, like, a week or so. Oh, no, no, no. You get two days at most. And then the gloves come off and the knives come out. Sharp, sharp knives. Mm hmm OK, but if... What? OK, um, great. Uh, if Our we money. just keep this between me and... And, uh, tour! What tour! You, you haven't I seen don't, the house. I have seen Oh, it's the a house. beautiful house. No, I don't want to see the house. Yeah, look, well, there's, um, no, no, no. pictures and stuff. Going and, 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 and go, get there. them out of here. And then look at this plant, it's got leaves. And, and the see, I just wish you Darling, I'm home. I've got a surprise for you. Hello. Right around the corner. Where are you? Oh, shit. Honey? Change your plants. Honey? Ever seen an elevator in the house before? Oh, it's so oh, nice. Yes. Oh. It's got buttons and stuff. Oh, oh, no, no, hit the buttons. It's fun. Go, 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 You too, buddy. Thanks for getting rid of them. There you are. Nice coat. You like it? It's uh -huh. new. So is this. Oh. You like it? Lola, help me pick it out. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give me these small pieces of fun? What? Honey, what are you doing? Uh. You have a flying bedroom here. And there's an elevator. No elevator. Hey. I did some laundry. It must be done. <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, the bedroom is right there. Yeah, I was thinking uh, it might be sexier if you try the rocking bed. Oh, that's so oh, what are you oh doing? God, girl, a little less fro yo. Cops, it is. No, I swear there's no one here. Floor. It's probably Jehovah's Witness. Lenny, Witherford. what the hell are you doing here Fuck. with these two women? Uh, my nieces are in Colorado. Lenny, I am no mood. Okay. Look, I'm sorry, but I know this happens when you're pregnant. She's not lying. My ass is on fire, too. Look, Cassie, let me talk to you. It's, it's really, it's not that complicated. 
Okay, it's really complicated. No, it's actually. not complicated. You just couldn't keep your dick in your pants. I'm be sick. So should we go? Looks like your performance enhancer hormones really did their job. Cassie, let me explain. No, I don't want to hear anymore, okay? I've had enough. I want to hear the girl's side of the story. Okay, well, first off, Cassie, can I call you Cassie? I'm, I'm just like a huge fan, like I love your work. I mean, the way you handled that people incident, huge inspiration. And I loved you on the Dancing with the Celebrity show. Yes. We voted for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough. We just get to the point, please. Well, Pixie and I, we met big time Bobby at our sex addiction support group about seven months ago. He was a newbie. Yeah, and you remember he was laughing and smiling the whole time we were talking about our past <laughs> sexual experiences. Oh my God, and you should have heard some of the stories he shared with the group about his past. Okay, okay, here's the thing. That was Sean's idea. He thought it might help me with my, you know, problem. I, I figured he was there trolling for low-hanging fruit. Turns out we both had an R.I. on the same ripe little piece. A whole lot of alcohol and a threesome later. He's our daddy. <laughs> okay, great. Well, you can have him. I'm done. Oh, Cassie, no. please. Cassie! Bobby, Come. sit down. Bobby, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna show ourselves that, okay? Girls, let's, let's get it up. Bobby, sit down. Good luck. Sorry, buddy. Bobby. Bobby, you need to get downstairs right away. What now? The FBI is here. They have a warrant to search the house. Oh, fuck. There he is. Uh, Mr. Davis, so you are not to leave the country pending the outcome of this investigation. The remainder of your personal assets have been frozen or any potential criminal penalties, as well as any Ponzi scheme clawbacks. And we are going to need your passport. Awesome. I can get that for you, gentlemen. Bobby, talk to you for a minute. Bobby, you need to realize what's happening here. Right? The criminal and financial ramifications are immense. Under Florida law, they can seize everything. Everything. They can lock you away for a very long time in a very unpleasant place. We need to consider negotiating a plea deal as soon as possible. Look, we can't waste any more time with this, Bobby. Lenny, I'm not doing a plea deal. Bobby. I'm innocent. I'm not doing a plea deal because I did nothing wrong. Gentlemen, is there anything else that you need? No, that's it for now. Again, a reminder, you're not to leave the area without prior authorization for any reason. A single violation will result in your immediate incarceration during the remainder of the investigation. Is that understood? Understood. I'm gonna follow these guys out. Hey, hey, hey. I'm gonna follow these guys out, and I'm gonna head out myself, all right? If you need anything, you just call me. Lenny, thank you. Let me just clear my head, and we'll game plan for a defense. Right. Let's meet up tomorrow. Let me do this again. All right, brother. All right. Lola? Yeah. Can I uh, talk to you for a second? Sure. Please, sit down. Oh. Um, I really know how to say this. Um, with my assets being frozen now, I'm not going to be able to pay you. I'm sorry. Just, um, I mean, it sucks because I don't know. I'm going to survive without you. I hope it's, it's only temporary. Yeah. Yeah, me too. This whole thing is just nuts. Oh, my God. I feel like my head's going to explode. Look, don't worry about me, okay? It's fine. Just, just try to relax, right? Just breathe. In and out. Oh, that feels 
really good. Yeah. Now, I have the perfect story for someone whose head's about to explode. <laughs> it's about a, uh, an ordinary man. An extraordinary gift. Spider-Man. More amazing than Spider-Man. <laughs> Batman? Way cooler than Batman. No one's cooler than Batman. Oh, this guy is. He's a total badass. Who is it? Iron Man? <laughs> no. It's Bobby Big Time Davis and his golden foot. Only you had the balls to kick a 60-yard field goal in the snow and make it. You won four championships, and in three of those, you kicked the winning field goal. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sorry, I, uh, I don't think we should, um, is that the same number that you were working? You know what? Forget it. Doesn't matter. Um, this, this can't happen. I'm sorry. Just, I, uh, I love Cassandra. Oh. This, mm. It's okay. It's fine. She's a lucky girl. <laughs> Are you going to be okay here tonight? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep coming in, all right? Whether you like it or not. You can... You can just pay me when you get back on your feet. Okay? I don't deserve you. Of course you don't. Fuck's sake, Whitney. It's not like this has been fun for me either. You see here, ladies? This is what we in the business call rock bottom. This man is completely and utterly screwed. From every angle, in every orifice, filled to maximum capacity. With no relief in sight. This is my favorite part of the job, where the gloves come off and the real fun begins. Okay, Whitney, how exactly would you suggest that I start unscrewing myself? That's a really good question, my boy. And I suspect you're not gonna like the answer. As soon as you get your finances worked out, we can discuss alternate living accommodations for my clients. Until then, ladies. All right, we can work with that. I can do. Oh, this is totally gonna work. Too shabby. Treat them like the queens of this castle. Anything less than that, and I will have to come back. I'll uh, do my best, I promise. Okay, ladies, there you have it. You have free reign. Make the most of it. And when I say make the most of it, I mean the most. We'll send you pictures. Thank you. You're very welcome. Bobby, come here. You got to see this. Reports in recently retired football legend Bobby Big Time Davis is being investigated by the FBI in connection Missing with the, the Kardashians massive Sean O'Grady Ponzi scheme really? that is rocking the professional sports world. Big Time's fingerprints were found on a suicide note written by the scheme's ringleader. Bobby! You oh, son of shit. a bitch! Someone call you animal control. Son of a bitch! I swear to Christ. You trying to make a fool out of me? Huh? The memorabilia check bounced! And now Sean! He's lost all of my money! My house is gone! I look like a fool! 
Hi, ladies. Hi. Would you mind getting my bags? She doesn't work for you. No, it's okay, Bobby. Right away, Miss Davis. What the fuck are you talking about bags? Staying right here until I get all my money back. Well, the fuck I'm you are. In. Yep. Yeah. Isn't there a kennel you can stay at? Oh, yeah. There is no fucking way in hell. You're not taking the rocking bed room. No one gets the rocking bed. <sighs> Me, part of the man cave. I'm a little hot. Yeah, it's right. Like, you're not staying here. I don't know what you're talking about. I am here. No. Get the fuck out of here. No. Damn it. Okay. Annie, don't you lick me. Oh. Don't. What the? Hi. No, I hate. <laughs> not the what willies. I'm staying. <gasps> Fine. Ladies. <laughs> Going to the roof now to jump off. Don't bother burying me, just throw me in the dumpster. <sighs> Will do. Where would you like these autographed footballs? I... Why don't you just shove them up his asshole? That ought to make for a good workout. Cassandra, what are you doing here? We need to talk in private. Private's good. If he had stuck to ass play, None of this would be happening, am I right, ladies? <sighs> Truth. Yeah. Is is this what I Oh my god. Cassie. Is it a boy or a girl? It's too early to tell. Well, is it healthy? Yes. Cassie, I, I'm so sorry about everything. Thank you for telling me about the money. But you could have told me about the women. Oh, I know, you're right. I just didn't want to put all of that on you at once. I, I didn't want to lose you. I can't believe it. Neither can I. I'm, did your dad, like, want to kill me? Well, Mom's dealing with it, but Dad's really excited. He's always loved you like a son. I, I don't know what to say. I... I also still want to get married. For the sake of our child, because a big part of me still really loves you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. And, and I promise, um, I'm going to do whatever it takes to get our money back. What are Annie and the baby mamas doing here? Uh, right. Um, because of the financial situation, the court order that they have to live here, it, just temporarily, uh, until I get all the money sorted out. OK. At 3.05 and 20 seconds, anything that happened before this moment, it's water under the bridge. OK. What about after? That's a different story. I can't believe we're going to be parents. Well, what are you waiting for? My bags aren't going to carry themselves in. What do you mean? If you think that I'm going to leave you here with these two bitches, you're out of your mind. Uh, okay. Okay. Have cereal for a son. Um, mm. And bring me orange juice, mm. lots of orange juice. In fact, bring me the whole container. Will do. Mm. Mm. Oh, God damn it. Who drank all the orange juice? 
What crawled up your ass this morning? Hmm. I'm drinking for two. What do you want? What do you mean you're drinking for two? I'm pregnant. Therefore, I'm drinking for two. You're pregnant. See, I thought you and your ex weren't able to have kids. Hmm. We weren't. My body rejected a sperm, thank God. So I went to a celebrity sperm bank. Celebrity sperm bank. That actually seems like something you would do. Fuck. So, who's the unlucky father? I'm not supposed to contact him. It's part of the deal, so it doesn't matter. Well, could you at least tell me if I know the poor bastard? Again, it doesn't matter. What does matter is you getting me my fucking money. That your friend stole, fucking jackass. You're such a fucking asshole. Dick. I love my sister. I love my sister. That's twice you've been in my ass. There he is. Mm -hmm. What took you so long? Did you squeeze the damn oranges by hand? Uh. Oh, you made me pancakes. <clears throat> but bad news, babe. We are currently out of OJ. Mm -hmm. It seems my sister is now drinking for two. What? Yeah. But Pixie was kind enough to donate some breast milk, fresh from the top. Oh, great. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. He's a kicker just like you. Just what the world needs. Ladies? This is how I can do all the moves you like. Stop, Javier. Looking good, my friend. Hey, we can calm down on that chlorine a little bit. I don't think we're going to be throwing any more wild parties anytime soon. Gracias. Lola, what do you... Okay, forget it. Oh. You wish. <laughs> Prove it to you if you'd like. Only if you're wearing those girly panties. Mm. Fuck off and die. Has been. <sighs> Reality television is the most influential medium of the 21st century. There's no other art form that has a greater impact on humanity and culture. Can't argue with you there. Great, Bob. I'm glad we see eye to eye. So now for a few basics. Do you mind if I call you Bob? Uh, most refer to me as Bobby or uh, Big Time. Great, Big Time Bobby. I love it. Actually, it's uh, Bobby Big Time. That works too. Not quite the same thing, but I'll go with it. Now, Cassandra, yes. your media profile went skyrocketing after your peephole stalker incident. Do you think we can get the stalker to come back to recreate the event? What? I cannot believe you just asked me that. It's good drama. And by the way, I also dance naked in front of the mirror, so I understand. Yuck, I can't believe you just said that. I'm just saying, everybody in America felt bad for you when that creep filmed you through the peephole. Why don't we just focus on what's really happening? It's me pregnant and Bobby's other pregnant women all living in one big happy house. You can call the show Smothered by Mothers. I like it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Shoot. Sure. How religious are you? Mm. Do you have any rage issues? Oh. What turns you on? Um. Any history of abuse in the household? What are your biggest turn-ons? How about your sexual addiction? Have you ever been with men? Have you ever considered it? Um. Cassandra, have you ever been with a woman? Do you have insurance on this place? Do you mind if we redecorate a little bit? Sure. I'm telling you, man, this could be huge. I'm talking Kardashian huge. Okay, well, yeah, I'll uh, support you, whatever you need. Well, looks like uh, there's hope for you yet, Bob. Ugh. Ugh, mm. over. 
Oh, God, getting out of this thing is worse than the womb. <laughs> nice to meet you, Vince. It was a pleasure, my dear. All right, I'm off to yoga with Roxy. Ta-ta. Ah, uh, hanging with the bitches. Is this a fire pit or a walk? Um, well, actually, it's... Uh... Oh, fabulous. It has diamonds. I love this. Ah, I'm back from the dead. <laughs> you should see the look on your face right now, bro. What the hell are you doing here? And why do you look like Paul McCartney? I decided not to take my final dip in the Gulf of Mexico after all. I knew you didn't kill yourself. I ought to kick your ass right now for all the shit you put me through. Be happy I'm alive and working very hard to get everyone's money back. Listen, I need your help. Oh, you need my help? That's rich. Do you realize the FBI thinks that I'm involved with you in this bullshit? If you can help me do this one small thing, I can clear your name and make everyone whole again. I swear. All right. You got two minutes. Two. Look, I never meant for you to lose your money, bro. Uh, dazzle me with your tales of woe. I ran into a problem when the recession hit, and I started doing some non-traditional business deals. Non-traditional business deals? You mean your fucking Ponzi scheme? No, 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 no. I helped launder some money for some really dangerous people. Oh, it's getting even better. Please, continue. I actually had no choice. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Okay, Michael Corleone. Why didn't you just call the cops? Well, I didn't have to. The FBI came to me. The FBI came to you? Yeah. They want me to wear a wire and help them bring down some very dangerous people, and they still do. The FBI knows you're still alive. Okay. Two minutes are up. Hey, how long can you live with all of those pregnant people under your roof? You're broke, Bobby. I'm broke because of you. I'm the only person that can help get your money back. And if I get arrested, that money disappears forever. So just help me, all right? I gotta go. I'll call you later, all right? You're not gonna believe what Pixie wants to name your baby. Bobby Big Time Junior. She's really got some nerve. What? Honey, what's wrong? Why were you yelling? You look like you've seen a ghost. I did. Sean O'Grady just left. Sean was just here? He's alive. I knew it. And he wants my help. Call the police. I can't. Then I'll call the police. He said if I don't help him, I'll never get my money back. How about Bobby Big Time the Second instead of Junior? Not now, Pixie. Think about it. Mm. You're eating my rye. It was on my shelf. Yeah, but my name's on it. Yeah. It was on my shelf that Bobby gave me. Just do what's best for you and your baby and put down my rye. No. Yeah. Mm. Mm. What? Put down the rye. What are you nuts? Put down my rye. Oh my God, what? Bobby, your oh. sister is the oh. biggest thing. Whoa, put down whoa, my whoa, rye. Whoa, 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 stop it. Put, put down my rye. rye. Eating Step my... away from the gummy bears. You were acting all kind of crazy. I'm this close to kicking your ass out of here. You, I'm gonna get so... TMZ here ah! so fast. The harem you have, they'll be able to get back my condo now, won't they, you little Ow! shit? Annie, Annie, ah! Annie, please try and get along with everyone. Bobby has some real issues right now. Stop, Annie. <laughs> Where's Jack Tripper?
cool boy? Really? What's next? Pizza delivery dude? Just shut up and listen. I don't have a lot of time. I still might call the police. No, you won't. Because you know I can get back all of the money. All of it? Every single penny. OK. What's the plan? I've been staying at a safe house on the beach. Ivan Koskov's place. Ivan Koskov, one of your clients, I presume. Yeah. Let me guess, Russian mafia? No, Italian. I've been laundering his money since the recession hit. And boy, <laughs> let me tell you, he's got a lot of money stashed in bogus businesses that I set up for him. OK. I need you to come by and steal his briefcase. I'm out. No, no, Bobby, listen, listen, listen. He's got his laptop inside, and it has all of the codes for his various accounts. I just need you to come by and make it look like a random robbery. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm a football player. I'm not some cat burglar. And let's just say I make it in and out with this briefcase without getting a bullet in my head. Then what? Spend the rest of my life in prison? No thanks. Great plan. Here, just bring it back to the house. Follow my instructions. Simple. Chlorine level low. What? Sir, no. The other side. It's got the address and exact time you need to be there. I hate you. Wear ski masks, gloves, and don't be late. I hate you so much. Bring Charlie with you. He's like your fullback for this situation. And um, use his gun. Here are the wire instructions. And make certain you use Ivan's mobile Wi-Fi. I'm going to make it look like Ivan stole the Jackal's money. Who the fuck's the Jackal? Some badass drug dealer. You don't want to know. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Anything else? Yeah, as a matter of fact. Tell Charlie to quit pissing in her pool. It's like a giant Petri dish. Hey, MacGyver, any suggestions on how I actually get into the house? Crawl. I hate you so much. Uh, I got a hermit crab on my ass. You shut the hell up. Sand in my mouth. The note says the kitchen's upstairs. Is that thing for real loaded? I mean, like, for real loaded? Don't worry about it. Keep your mouth shut. And let me do all the talking. All right, chicka? All right, tough guy. Oh, Grady. You've been moping around lately. How come? It's the beach air. No matter how many nights I spend here, I just can't get used to it. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm going to start charging you rent. <laughs> I'm fucking around with you. You're gold. You're perfect. This house was just a pile of bricks until you come. Help me with everything. The people around me, everything. The best. Thank you, Ivan. You know, Ivan, we, um, we should talk about your money. I've noticed some recent activity. Up? Uh, no, from foreign IP addresses. The fuck is an IP? Well, I, I traced it, and it's to a proxy for Chico Rodriguez. English. Jackal. What the hell is this, Ivan? Shut the fuck up! And give me that watch! You know who the fuck I am? I don't know who the fuck you are, no, I don't know who. Boris Yeltsin or some shit? You fucking drop a sand all over my hundred thousand dollar rug! You stupid little fuck! Shut up, old man! And get up! Quit cleaning! Get up! <laughs> <laughs> Funny, huh? <laughs> what, what's in the briefcase there, Boris? Not your business. Ah. Huh? Good, how about this? Keep the watch and give me the briefcase. Take it easy. Give me it. Yeah. Yeah, give, give, give me the briefcase. Give me, give me the briefcase. Go fuck yourself. You should kill me now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll do that, all right? How about I just shoot you, all right? First one, you little balls. Next one, you big fat head. You like that? You got the briefcase. What about that one, okay. huh? You like that, okay. child? Yeah, now get, get on the ground. Get the fuck out of here. Get on the fucking ground, both of you guys. Okay, okay. We can yeah. go now. Get Good. Thanks. Thanks, assholes. Sorry about your Thanks, rug. Assholes. You told me about this jackal. Holy shit. Oh, what did I just do? 
What, bro? You didn't do nothing, Mr. Fucking Swiffer. Oh, Sam, the last time I felt that alive was when I kicked a game winner. That's what I'm talking about, man. It felt good. We pulled it off. Sean's coming through for us. All right, all right. We still have to transfer the jackal's money, though. Yeah, I got it. I got it. We need to have a meeting in the kitchen. <clears throat> um, Cassie, uh, can I just wait a couple seconds? You know, me and Charlie are kind of in the middle of something. Now. Babe, we're at the mercy of international banking hours. We had an incident with Vince Vargas while you were gone. Okay. I'll uh, get started, bro, right? Mm hmm Good luck. Here's your balls if you want them, bro. Okay, that was fun. You get back here. It's time for a meeting, dipshit. What now? Imagine my surprise when I see video cameras in my room at 6 a.m. cameras before, we wouldn't have needed this paternity test, now would we? Look, ladies, Vince said that shocking and surprising sells. We need this to sell. Bobby, Vince is not someone you need to be taking advice from. He thought the elevator was the bathroom, and he took a shit nick yesterday. Are you sure that wasn't Charlie? I'm all for kinky, but this is our privacy. It's like the First Amendment. Oh, the First Amendment, and that's privacy. Okay, cool. Let's talk about privacy. My mansion has turned into a fucking maternity ward. So don't talk to me about privacy. Thanks, ladies. First of all, you're the one that knocked all these ladies up, and second of all, you're the one that lost all our money. Why don't you hire Whitney Roth to get it back for you? It worked for the ladies. Yeah, actually, you would have to find her first because I guess she's off, like, vacationing somewhere. Oh, perfect. The Viper Queen is out globetrotting while I'm bound by the state to stay right here. All I'm saying is that if we're going to be on, like, reality TV, you need to let us prepare. She's right, Bobby. <sighs> she's right. Fine. I'll talk to Vince tomorrow. No more surprises. Good. Bobby, man, it was easy. I mean, Sean knows his shit. All the passwords work. <sighs> Sean better call. I can't believe how smooth this one. It's done, bro. Sunshine, rainbows, blowjobs. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah, good game, good game, good game. <clears throat> yeah. Abbott and Costello. So, what do I owe the pleasure? Well, what we want is for you to help us today. I'm sorry, that's my bad. I misspoke. Um, you are going to help us mm. today. Sounds fun. So what would I be helping you with? Well, we need you to give Ivan Koskov's briefcase back to him. Who's that? I gotta tell you, I am the last person you want to play stupid with. Okay? Sean filled us in on how you dipshits stole Ivan's laptop. <sighs> Shit. Right. Look, as you guys well know, Ivan's a very dangerous man. I don't want anything to do with him, so. Yeah, he's dangerous. That's why I'm gonna seize him. And we're gonna put him away forever. Great. And uh, what does this have to do with me? Well, that's simple. He knows that you're the one who stole his laptop. And how the hell would he know that? Sean told him. Well, as a matter of fact, we're the ones who had Sean do that. Fuck. We told Sean if he wants any kind of a deal, he's gonna have to help us get Ivan. Can't you guys just mail back his briefcase to him or something? No, no, no. We need to make visual contact of him accepting the case from you. You are going to give it to him. And where exactly am I supposed to do this without ending up in cement boots? Here. You're going to return it to him right here today. <laughs> you guys are out of your damn mind. That's not happening. I essentially live with the cast of Desperate Housewives. It's not private. and It's certainly not safe. It's not happening. Plan B. Look, man, Sean told Ivan that you guys didn't know who he was when you robbed him. If Ivan tries to hurt you, Sean's not going to launder any more of his money. <sighs> All right, I'll say it slower. I don't want to do it here. It's not happening. Okay, 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 take a breath and think about this, okay? This is by far the safest place, especially now we have all these people here. And then we can move in under probable cause. <sighs> 
Just trust us, okay? Ivan's not gonna make a move. Not with all your little pretty housewives all around you. What do you want me to do? Okay, it's very simple. First, you are gonna tell him how sorry you are, and then you're gonna return the case to him with the laptop inside. Once we see him take possession of the laptop and the case, we move in. Hey, hon, why don't you uh, go upstairs, get some rest? It's hot out here. You've never been more relaxed, hon. The water, the sun. Ugh, I'm happy as a clam. Right, um, uh, but isn't sun really bad for babies? I am fine. Okay, just, uh, I'm gonna make sure you're safe. Always safe. <gasps> Bobby, what the fuck are you Who are these tools? Fucking FBI. Mr. Bobby Davis, show yourself. Hey, relax, man. Just um, take whatever it is you want. It's fine. You took something from me, which I got to have back. What do they want? I have no idea. Um, I I've never seen this guy before in my life, ever. Not once. Hey, Bobby, when's a buddy Ivan the Terrible coming by, huh? That stupid peas up. He's the meat's pussy in Russia. Oh, shit. Oh, shit on you, too. I recognize you. You're the fucking piece of shit that robbed me. I recognize your voice. No, no, it wasn't me. It, it was somebody else. Shut the fuck up. I'll cut your balls and put them down your throat. Okay, Lee, stand down. Listen to me, this briefcase, it's only going to get Ivan so much time, okay? I want this son of a bitch locked up for life. Sean told us it was you. Because the jackal doesn't do his own dirty work. He gets two mopes like you to do a film. Please, Ivan, put down the gun, and I'll have Pixie suck the sand out of your rug. <laughs> I recognize you now. Please, don't hurt us. Why would I? You wouldn't. I'm saying just in case you were planning on it, I figured I'd nip it in the butt. Open the case. Oh, OK, OK, sure, sure. Open the case. <gasps> OK, move it. Go, go, go. Ivan! Oh, my god, Tommy! Yeah. Drop the gun! Drop the gun! The fuck Drop the do? goddamn gun! Drop. I'm not a criminal. They're the criminals. They broke into my house and stole my stuff. Ugh, the fuck are you doing? Out of Costco, if you're under arrest. You trying to hug me or what? Object in custody. O'Grady, it's done. Yeah, you'll end up with six. You fucking guys set me up, didn't you? This is set up, you pieces of shit. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, Ivan. They made us do it. Hey, that's enough, Davis. Let us do our job, OK? All right, everybody, back in the house. We'll be taking statements shortly. Thanks for your cooperation. It's kind of cute, that one. Oh, right? Damn. Hey, big time. Way to take us into the end zone. Just don't screw Sean over, OK? Why would we? We're the US government. <sighs> OK, so was that like a performance piece or something? What about your money? Just gonna make a phone call. You guys okay? Want to? All right, Sean, we did our part. Now it's your turn to do yours. It's all good. I spoke with Agent Miller. I spent six months in a prison, and then I'm a free man again, contingent on my returning the investor's money. It's fucking Bobby's money, bro. Yes, relax. Kurt is gonna wire everyone's money after they arrest me. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say Kurt? Steroids, Kurt? Oh, now I feel great about this. Yeah, slimy bastard. Why am I not surprised? He's got the codes, passwords, everything. I just need the deal in writing from the feds first, and then Kurt pushes it through. Bro, that's some Thomas Crown shit right there. Yeah. Kurt's uh, shady, all right, but he's the perfect man for the job. Listen, just make certain you guys take care of him when this is all over. Yeah, OK. Well, we'll get him a Matty Petty. How's that? Just get his fucking money back. Yeah, don't fuck this up, Sean. I'm at Ivan's safe house right now. You can even come by to see me off. I gave Agent Miller the address. Heck, I'd, I'd love for my best friends to be by my side before I get hauled off to jail. Man, you thought of everything, huh, bro? <laughs> this nightmare is almost over, guys. All right, we'll be there. Nice, all right, good job. Out. This walking on the beach shit is supposed to be romantic. And the only two times I ever did it in my life, I was with you. I'm honored. Holy shit! Is that real? 
Bro, you don't think Sean would have... No, no. Sean would never shoot anybody. Charlie, what the fuck are you doing, man? This is a crime scene. Yeah, it is. It's about to get even bigger. Reconozco el gancho de un bandido cuando él se atreve a brindarme una taza en un platillo de leche con café. Si Pedro no ha venido por más de medio siglo, what did you tell the FBI about me? I'm telling you, I told them nothing. I trusted you. You were my friend. You are my friend. I shall cut you up into small pieces. I never told the FBI about you. Do you know that this is the jackal? I'm lying to you! Your friend, Kurt. Don't listen to a thing he said. Well, he said to me, that you're gonna rat me out to the FBI? Listen, Kurt's setting me up. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Do you wanna know what I think? I think you and him are both full of shit. I never trusted that cockroach either. Games in the wrong league, my friend. Adios, bodies. And get my jet. The fucking heat is killing me. What are we gonna do? Nothing, Charlie. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? You just killed a boy! I was there, Charlie! Like Sean. I guess Sean finally got what he deserved, man. What am I gonna do about this? Just throw it in the river. <sighs> Fucking Kurt. Totally fucked over Sean. And you! <sighs> yeah. If I ever get my hands in that motherfucker Kurt, I'll fucking rip his head off. I, I don't get it. I mean, Kurt's obviously a weasel, but he's no mastermind. So what do you think, he had help? Would you like to celebrate? Of course, my dear. We pulled it off, didn't we? 
feel bad for Sean, but like you said, we had no choice. He's gonna give all that money back to Bobby Dickhead Davis and leave us with crumbs? We had to do it. Anyway, I think I'm really gonna love the Maldive Islands. So I got some good news and I got some not so good news. What do you want to hear first, Bobby? You know me, Lenny. I like my dessert first. All right, well, the failed steroid test, thrown out, faulty handling, and you tested clean for the new one, so welcome back to professional football, my friend. Yeah. And, 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 you got that $3 million signing bonus. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, how much? Three mil. Three million. <laughs> Three million! We are, yeah, back, baby! Talking about it! Um, 2.75, I'm getting my cut. That's kind of the bad news, Bobby. Um, the IRS, they want their cut too. What are we talking, like 500K? No, more like 4 million. More like what? What? 4 million. Four. The fuck, Lenny? I mean, I'm no math major, but, yep, that means I'm still fucking broke. Until you pay back the IRS. I mean, as soon as that reality show airs, and then I think you're gonna make up for that. In like a year? You guys can handle it, but one more year, can't you? Oh, hell no! Yeah. Go fuck yourself. What's wrong with you? I'm having a hard time breathing. Oh, oh, I got really bad gas pains. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, I okay, can't breathe! 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 I got you! Oh. 